guys happy new year welcome to my youtube channel um if you are new here thanks for joining us um okay so it is the first week of 2018 and i've decided that i'm gonna get my ass onto youtube and weekly vlog this week i took a bit of a break um in the last two months of 2017 with youtube because if you guys follow me on instagram um, and Snapchat and all that stuff, you will know that for the last two months of the year, I was wearing a wig um, due to the fact that my natural hair had suffered massively um, over 2017. Um, yeah, so I decided to wear a wig. Um, it didn't go down well, should we say, with some people. And some people took a big offence to the wig, um, which I don't really understand why. Um, but it led to quite a lot of abuse and so I just kind of thought you know what I'm not gonna put myself up for negative comments, especially on YouTube um, So I just kind of took a step back for two months. That's why I didn't film any videos So I have missed you guys. Sorry that I didn't film much um, But I'm back. Um, I'm going to vlog this week because I'm um, starting today Which is Wednesday because I'm actually going to Vixen and Blush today to have my hair change slightly so we're basically a week today i'm getting my extensions put back in and i cannot wait i'm so excited um i have missed them a lot like i've loved having the wig don't get me wrong like, i love the wig i thought it was amazing i've really enjoyed wearing it it's been fun um but i am looking forward to getting my extensions back in but i'm doing hair color change today so i'm going blonde ish kind of more of a balayage that kind of vibe so i thought i would take you guys with me um and yeah so at the moment i'm just currently getting ready i've just got back from the gymnasium um i need to have a shower i need to sort my face out and yeah so that is what i'm doing currently um but yeah stay tuned if you want to see what i get up to in this week guys i'm just sat here procrastinating as always look at this video i just found of becky and i on new year's eve Becky's name to nipples, Andy and John. But where's the massage at? My eyes. That was at, I don't even know what time, four o'clock in the morning, I think, on New Year's Day. How embarrassing. As always, I have left it so late. I'm now in a rush. Oh, a bit of Jesse Kyle on the TV down here. Um, I'm late, which means I'm, I'm always late. I'm always late. Always. Doesn't matter how long I give myself. I'm always in a rush to get the train, I swear to God, it is not ideal. Just in case you guys forgot how messy I am, here's a little update on Sarah's flat. It's still a tip. Also, this jumper is from a website called Block Vintage. I found it on Instagram over the Christmas break, and I'm obsessed. They just do like loads of like vintage Adidas, Nike, um, and this is like a university style jumper, I'm obsessed. Um, I also got... Yes, I know. I'm in, I'm in a rush, but yeah, I'm going to show you these. I got this one, which says Bentley University. I got a yellow one, which says St. Edward's on it. Oh, that's getting in the way. Um, I also got this, like, Adidas jumper that's really cool. I think it's, like, old school Adidas. I've never seen anything like it. Um, sweatshirt like that. And then I also got this really old school Adidas one, um, which I, cro I cut, obviously I cropped it. Um, I think they're so cool. It's like, I love the like color of this one. It's like a really cool green. Also guys, another new addition in my life are the blue tint Yeezys. I'm so excited. I'm literally obsessed with them. Look how cute they are. They're like mint green. They are so nice. I got these from Instakicks. He is the guy who gets all my trainers, literally every single pair I own I get from Instakicks. He's always hooking me up, but I'm in love with these ones. I literally feel like I just walked through a hurricane to get back home. My God, it's so windy outside today. So I'm back from London, back from Vixen and Blush. So news re my hair is a little bit disappointing for me in the sense that because I went so dark, um, the last time I dyed my hair, it means it's gonna take a lot longer than I thought to get it back to being the blonde I want it to be, which is a pain, but I have to be patient because obviously after Spending two months of like trying to get my hair back to a good place. I don't want to then go and ruin that by bleaching the hell out of it. So I totally understand why they've done it. So we've gone lighter. You can't really see in this light. Um, so it's kind of like a caramel ombre. Um, my natural hair. And then when I go back next week to have the extensions put in. Um, we're going to lighten it up with using the extensions. Which is what I love so much about the extensions. Is that you can really like create colours just by using the extensions. So very excited about that. A little bit gutted about not being blonde yet. 
but I suppose it is January, so fingers crossed, by summer, I should be at the level of blonde that I want to be. So yeah, but anyway, I'm going to sit down a second um, and basically explain to you, kind of, because I don't think I've actually spoken about my hair like story and why I started wearing wigs and all that jazz and a lot of you have been asking so I'm gonna move to my sofa and then fill you all in. Story time. So basically I have had my extensions in for over two years now um, and I have absolutely loved them and I just want to say straight off the bat that I did not start wearing a wig because the extensions were in my hair. The extensions had absolutely nothing to do with my decision to wear a wig. So if you've got extensions currently, don't panic. My hair wasn't ruined by the extensions. Vixen and Blush extensions are still my favourite things in the whole entire world. Um, I literally, as you can see, I'm going back and having them put back in because I love them so much. So I had nothing to do with the extensions themselves. Basically, about, I would say, end of September, beginning of October time, my natural hair, so what you see here, the layers on the top, so this one especially, had broken off to, I'm not even joking, it was above my cheekbone, like it was up to about there. I honestly look like Hey Arnold. It was the weirdest thing. I literally woke up one morning and it was like they just disappeared during the night. Um, so obviously when you've got really long extensions and these really short layers, not only did it look bad, but it just looked really unhealthy. It was dry and it was crispy and it was frazzled. Basically because obviously I dyed my hair so much throughout 2017 and 16 to be fair. Um, and all the styling that I have done when I'm on shoots, um, and it just had suffered and also... Um, 2017 was an interesting year for me. I spent a lot of it extremely stressed out because of events that happened during 2017, which we won't go into because they're in 2017 and we're going to leave them there. Um, but I think that stress, you know, really affected me and my hair and my body and everything else that goes with that. So, yeah. So I just decided, um, I said to Vixen and Brush, I went, look, as of November, let's take them out, let's get rid of them, and um, I'll wear a wig, because I always wanted to, and that's what I decided to do. And it was the best decision I've ever made, because as you can see, it is looking in such good condition. The layers are back down to my chin again, which is where you want them to be, so I'm really pleased. Really, really, really pleased that I did it. Um, so that's basically the story of why. Um, I'm a little bit sad um, that I ever really went back to being fully brunette. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't think it looks bad, but I did love being blonde, and I think that in the beginning of 2017, when I went brunette, I had just recently gotten out of a really bad relationship, um, which was actually the same person that my fuckboy video was about, and I just was like, I want to change my hair, I want to change everything, I want to leave that in the past, so out of impulse in February 2017 I dyed my hair brown and that's really the reason I did it um, and I actually regret it so much because I wish I'd just stayed blonde because I loved being blonde um, and obviously now it's going to be a struggle to get back there but it's fine, you live and you learn, but what we can take away from this is do not let men make you make stupid impulse decisions because you live your life for you and it doesn't matter what you do, change your hair colour doesn't make it easier, just gonna say. So yeah, sorry, that was a bit long, um, but yeah, that's basically the story behind my hair. It's all very exciting, hopefully next week hair extensions back in, ready for my travels in January and the rest of the year. I cannot wait to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail again. You do not understand how much I've missed that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically the story behind the Sarah Ashkov Barnet. Good morning, everyone. So it is Thursday today. Thursdays are the only day that I don't get up early and go to the gym. So it is half past nine in the morning and I'm still in bed and I'm loving life. I was supposed to get up half past eight but my alarm went off and I was like, no, that's not happening. Um, yes, so today is kind of a boring day. I'm actually not doing anything at all apart from having my boxing lesson slash training sesh um, at two o'clock. That's what I do on Thursdays, I box. I love boxing. I said to myself last, 2017 January, so last year, literally a year ago, I was like, I really want to take up boxing. That was my New Year's resolution because I really like to set myself New Year's resolutions. Um, and I stuck to it pretty much, although because I'm super busy, it's really hard to go to like every single session. But it's really fun. If you want to find a cardio that you want to enjoy and don't hate doing, I would thoroughly recommend boxing. Plus it makes you really strong. 
So that's what I'm doing today. Um, and just doing some work. So nothing exciting, guys, unfortunately. Also, I look really funny in my cloud pajamas. Do you like these guys? These are from ASOS, if you're wondering where my very sassy pajamas are from. Also, guys, do you want a really random slash impromptu room tour while we're here? So this is my wardrobe upstairs. I've got ridiculously high ceilings in this bedroom. I actually ridiculously high. I have, oh yeah, I have a pink wig. Don't ask about that one. Um, I have this space up here that I'm not allowed to put anything up on top um, because apparently the ceiling of the bathroom isn't strong enough. I don't think so. It's completely wasted space. So pointless. That is my bathroom. My makeup dressing table, which is from Danelm. And this is from Illuminated Mirrors UK. Such a good mirror. And then, yeah, then we've got the bed that I'm currently in on my TV and mirror. The mirror is from Mirror Outlet in Milton Keynes, I think. Okay, I'm out of bed, guys. I'm up. I'm ready to start the day, just about. Um, so we're in here with my bathroom. I'm going to show you what I'm currently using in my morning skin routine. Um, I have been to the what's it called destination skin recently which is a skin clinic that does like my skin peels i get a pumpkin peel done there and it's insane um and they that's where i get all my skin stuff from so it's kind of expensive but it's amazing and it's absolutely transformed my skin like it's insane so my morning routine is a little bit different to my nighttime routine um but i'm just going to show you some of the stuff that i do use so first up is my daily cleanser which is this dermaquest essential daily cleanser it's kind of pricey i'm not gonna lie but i love it it's really good then we have this which is one thing that i cannot live without it is my vitamin c oil so it's literally um like purified vitamin c like concentrated vitamin c however i want to say that i'm not really sure um and it's just unreal I, d I don't know why it's amazing but it just is amazing like makes my skin so bright and so shiny and just looks really healthy so this is probably if i recommend anything out of my entire morning skin routine it would be this guys and then lastly we have the derma quest advanced hydrating serum which apparently is like a drink of water for your face that's what it says and i guess it is because my skin literally just is amazing at the moment um so yeah that is also worth looking into <laughs> on a kind of super health kick um, because as of January the 22nd I am basically just not in England at all which is amazing and I'm so excited to just travel pretty much for the entire 2018 because traveling is just where I'm literally at my happiest and I just I'm such a travel person like, I love being in sunshine being by the sea I'm just not in England lover um so but because of that i obviously have to spend my life in a bikini which is all great but you know i've got to be healthy because last year guys i let it slip big time like i was super super healthy up until about march i then went away for like six months straight and i just ate and drank my way around the world which was great fun but it all caught up with me so about september time i was like oh my god I need to stop drinking beer because I literally gained like a stone. Luckily, because I'm tall, I could cover it quite well. But yes, so we're now trying to get rid of that stone, which is fun. Um, so health Sarah is back, which means I'm actually currently on a bit of a calorie deficit, which if you don't know what calorie deficit is, it basically is where you eat um, less calories than your body burns in a day so that you basically lose weight essentially but in a healthy way guys don't be stupid with this and eat less than a thousand calories because you probably will die um so yeah and also basically just having a lot of protein and vegetables that is my life currently so breakfast at the moment consists of eggs and my favorite and i promise this isn't a plug guys i generally do use it every single day is my ldm muscle protein the sarah ashcroft one obviously because well it's a vibe um i have the banana one at the moment I'm obsessed with it, like I'm actually obsessed with it. A lot of people are like, 
they don't really understand how to use protein shakes like within their diet if they're not like a massive gym person which is like me like yes I go to the gym every morning but I have a personal trainer like I couldn't go by myself I have to have, so I have, to have someone shouting at me to do something um, and it's basically I use it to keep my protein intake up because um, if I want to build muscle um, I need more protein in my diet and I struggle to like eat enough protein just anyway so they're really handy and also I like using them because right now in the morning I'm not hungry but like, I'm not a breakfast person but I know that my body needs food and it's like that before I run off to a meeting in London or anything early I'm just not hungry so I have a shake um, and leave the house because it's better than me not eating anything at all and it's actually probably going to benefit me more because it's going to mean my metabolism is going to be going I'm going to be losing you know fat that I want to be burning all that kind of jazz so that's basically what I have for breakfast at the moment and trust me guys I promise you they are really nice so I have them with almond milk um, and yeah that's my breakfast also guys to add to the fun this is the shaker that I've done with LDM muscles it says boss in it on that side and then you've got London Muscle, Sarah Ashcroft on the back, and it's pink, obviously, because it's super cute. So, I have been working all morning. Um, I'm now heading off to the gym to go and do some boxing, which I'm very excited about. I feel like I've got a lot of energy today that I need to get rid of. I've been like running around my flat singing and dancing. I'm like, this is very unlike me. So it's probably a good thing that I'm now going to the gym to get rid of some of that energy. And then I'm gonna go get my nails done. That's the plan for the rest of the day. By the way, Jason's having a house part on the 17th of November and we're going. Okay, house party <laughs> vibes. Rebecca Spencer Photography is in the house. What are we doing today? We're going up we're to London. We're shooting and it's sunny. It's actually sunny for once in our lives, guys. So this never happens when we shoot. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Um, so we're going up to London, we're shooting in the sunshine, and then I'm getting some tattoos. Rebecca Spence Photography is going to oh, get shit, a tattoo. I forgot you were doing that today. Yeah. Oh, I might get one. That's happening, that's happening. Um, so, yeah, so that's the plans, guys. We're live. I literally look like Dennis a minute. Oh my god, I'm actually dead. No, you're going to die. Like, I straight up look like Dennis. Hang on. You <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> is Dennis a minute's got a theme tune? <laughs> Three, two, one, and action. We're um, going. Okay, so we're done. I'm dressed like a pumpkin, guys. Do you like my trousers? They are so funny. I was saying to Megan, there's so much stretch in them that I feel like I'm like an elastic band every time I walk. It's really odd. Um, it's fucking freezing outside. It's so cold, isn't it, Beck? Yeah, cut like, my hands. So cold. But we're done for the day. Yay. Also, I'm like jazzing up in my hat. A bit of KG inspiration going on here. Um, and now we're going to go eat and then go get some, we're gonna go get tatted up. That's what we do. How random are we? Tatted up. That we're literally on a random Friday, like I've decided I'm gonna go get three tattoos. Which I completely forgot you. Yeah, to. three tattoos for absolutely no, well actually there is a reason, but it's just all in one go. That angle though. Oh shit, don't get me in it. Just got inked up guys. What is with us? So impulsive, I swear to God. So I'm done. I've had my three tattoos. Had them done all in one go because I'm going away for most of the year. So one of them done before I went. All the Instagram shots. Do it for the gram guys. This is a personal fave. It says first never follows. And I'm literally obsessed. And I've got a little one here. And this one here is my grandma, who I call Gigi's birthday. It's all very exciting. So we've just finished at the tattoo parlor in London, guys. They were unreal, weren't they, Bex? Like, unreal. They were so nice. Like, I know, I've been there. as a girl, like, whenever I've gone in to get a tattoo in, like, tattoo parlors before, I don't know if you guys feel like this, but you always feel like you're not meant to be there or, like, you're not wanted because you just want, like, a tiny, weeny little tattoo and everyone in there is getting, like, sleeves and you feel a bit stupid. Bit so, yeah, it's, like, really intimidating. So it was really nice to go in somewhere where you just felt so, so welcome and, like, Everyone was really happy and just so friendly. And we are so pleased with our tattoos. Becky got one on the back of her arm. Yeah. I've come out with three. They also <laughs> topped up my little barley heart, which was so nice of them. Like, they didn't have to do that. Um, so, big, big shout out to Powell, who tattooed us. He was amazing. So happy. Such a babe. Guys, if you want a tattoo done in London. Is it Ushwire? I think it's Ushwire Tattoo. Yeah. I'll put the link in here anyway, if I'm not pronouncing that right. But they're amazing in Fulham. So, we are back from our day in London. Becky is... 
Jane. Well done, Jane. Well done, Jane. Something out of the bag. We are now, I'm going to spend the evening editing. Becky's going home to set up my new phone. Her new phone. We've had a very productive day and a very fun day. So Becky fun. had no idea when she woke up this morning she was going to leave I with a tattoo. I never knew a tattoo, but I'm buzzing. I said I'm a really bad influence, aren't I, Rex? Yes. But also good, I was like, I would never have done it. No. I feel like you've got to do these things on impulse sometimes. Starting the year as you mean to go on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of today, guys. That's what's happening. Um, so over and out for today. Good morning, guys. So it is Sunday today. Um, and I am actually heading off to Manchester to go and have a meeting with In The Style, which I know is probably the weirdest thing to be doing on a Sunday, but I'm so busy for the next, like, three weeks that this Sunday was the only time that I could fit in a meeting. And luckily, that's why I just love working with In The Style, is that we all kind of, like... We do everything we can to make sure that we meet up, make sure everything's perfect. Because at the moment we are designing uh, kind of like swell swimwear and high summer, which feels so weird because it's the middle of January and I'm already thinking about swimwear. But swimwear and summer clothes is my favourite thing ever to be designing. So very excited about this and I need everything to be 100% perfect at all times. So I'm going up today to fit some of the samples, change some things around, find out what I like, what I don't like about them, and make sure they are absolutely 100% perfect. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna head up there now, driving up to Manchester, spend a few hours there and then come back. Um, but yeah, so that is the plan for today. Also guys, I am super proud of myself. So you know how I'm on this like diet thing. I don't wanna say diet because it's more like a lifestyle change. I don't like calling diets diets because I feel like you don't stick to them, but my healthy lifestyle that I'm now doing, I weighed myself yesterday and I've lost two pounds this week, which was really good um, because basically when you're on a calorie deficit, you can kind of set yourself up to lose like a certain amount of weight each week, which is good. And it means it's working and all my early mornings at the gym and all my healthy meals are paying off. We're still here guys. We've got Lauren, we've got Kieran and Adam. We're smashing it out. We're doing everything in one day. But I'm so excited about these next summer collections. They are a vibe. Monday today. I've been running around like a crazy person this morning. Um, I went to the gym and then I had a meeting in London. I've now got a moment to myself, so I'm just gonna film on this while I make a cup of tea. Um, what was I gonna say? Today's been super boring though. I literally had that meeting. I was meant to have a meeting this afternoon with my accountant, but my PA is really ill, so we're rescheduling for Friday which is good because I actually hate accountant meetings. Like, they are the worst. Like, I feel like when I go to them, I have to, like, they're so adult, do you know what I mean? And I'm not, I just, I'm not about that adult life. I'm really not, like, I just got no idea what I'm doing. Um, so that was good. So now I've got the entire afternoon to just work um, on some other stuff, some projects that I'm planning in 2018, which needs some attention because I go away and I need to get shit done before I go. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna make my tea. I literally never ever used to be a tea drinker. It was like my worst nightmare. I just, the thought of drinking tea, I was like such a coffee person. But since I've been trying out this new healthy lifestyle thing, um, I've gotten so into like green tea and mint teas and lemon and ginger tea and jasmine tea, which is what I'm currently having. Um, so if you, like me, hate teas, I would highly suggest getting into them because it does work, I promise. <laughs> Um, also, how much of a vibe is this jumper? It's my new Yeezy jumper. It's like, I think it looks like, me and my friend Joel, we bought the same, we went matching. And we were literally like, it looks like a year six Levis jumper. I don't know if you guys had that, but like, at my school when you'd leave, everyone would sign each other's shirts and jumpers and stuff. And that's honestly what this one looks like. Like, it's covered in just like scribbles. But I think it's really cool. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so it's Yeezy if you're wondering. But no, so this morning I had a meeting with one of the guys who owns London Muscle, um, which was really productive and exciting. We've got some really fun things coming in 2018 with my little collab that I did with them, um, including some competitions for you guys to win some stuff because um, 
I like swear by their products and also like I've been using their bikini body guide to kind of get me back into the gym and it's been really working for me so I want to give you guys the opportunity to kind of win yourself a chance to do the plan um, and just generally try out the stuff because I know that like when you're if you're not like a massive gym person like me like things like protein working out and all that kind of stuff it's just a bit it's just a bit much like I feel like it's like a lot to learn and it's it does help to have a bit of guidance um, which is what I love about London Muscle is they really like pride themselves on kind of you know like helping you along the way to achieve your goals and that's what I love about the brand um yeah so that was this morning but tomorrow is very exciting guys because I have a shoot within the style um for a valentine's edit that I'm doing with the other girls who all have collections in the style we're doing little edits um a special kind of like valentine's day shoot and I have requested my very own fuck boy but we shall see whether it comes through or not I'm actually not sure what the vibe is but I, they were like oh we can get your blow up dummy and I was like no I want a real man you know, Diva Sarah, not at all. But um, yeah, so we shall see. And then Wednesday is the extensions, guys. I am so excited about that. How amazing is this mug, though? It's like one of my favourite ones. It's from Jack Vanek, I think that's how you pronounce it. I love her stuff. She's so cool. Um, and it is honestly like one of my favourite mugs. So we are behind the scenes today on my Valentine's in the style edit shoot, which will make a lot more sense when this campaign goes live. But it's a very exciting day, so we've got Mikey doing my makeup, it's all happening. We've also got my very own fuckboy arriving at one o'clock, which is extremely exciting. Um, so stay tuned to see what's going on today. It's currently getting weaved up at the back here by Mikey. It's all happening, guys. Not the fuckboy. No, not the fuckboy. <laughs> Mikey glowing Sarah up 2018. I feel like if you rock up to this in, on your Valentine's Day, guys, you're gonna get lucky. <laughs> from Love Island and we're here today on my In The Star Valentine's campaign shoot. How's Fred, sir? I feel like he's a great boyfriend. Yeah, he doesn't talk, he doesn't ask, he can't text anyone else. <laughs> but there is a slight issue. I am back from today's shoot looking glamorous AF. Um, just put one of my favourite clay masks on, um, which I always do after a shoot because obviously the amount of makeup that goes on my face. Um, but yeah, so today was so fun. I'm really pleased with how it all went and how the campaign is looking. It's quite fun to do something like a little bit different when it comes to shooting my In The Style collections because this one like is more of an edit. Um, and just kind of a bit of fun for Valentine's Day, so it's nice to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, so that is exciting. I'm very much looking forward to that little edit dropping as well, because the jumpsuits are like my favourite things, and the dresses to be fair. So yes, but I am now absolutely exhausted. I'm sitting here watching Friends on Netflix. I literally do nothing with my life now that Friends is on Netflix. I swear to God, I'm on season four, episode two, and I'm watching them like they're a movie. I just keep them going. I forgot how much I love Friends. I love Friends. Um, and tomorrow, guys, is so exciting, because tomorrow is the day I get my extensions put back in. I honestly can't wait. Like, I actually can't wait. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. Like, I just feel like, I don't know, I was talking to someone about this the other day, but I was like, I've been in such a lucky position where, yes, I've chosen to wear a wig for two months and that was completely my decision. 
but it's really made me look at people who have to wear wigs in a completely different way because I was in, I have the luxury of the fact that I wore it purely for almost like vanity reasons because I wanted to make my own hair better. But there are people out there who have to wear wigs for medical reasons and, you know, or illnesses and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, like, if you're one of those people, like, I have so much respect for you because wigs are amazing, but they aren't real hair and they're not the same thing. And so, like, I genuinely have missed just silly things like being able to put my hair up in a ponytail and be able to jump in a pool and like stupid things like that so I'm honestly like I am so so excited to get my extensions put back in it's gonna be a great day good morning guys so I'm late as usual I'm literally I actually shouldn't be doing this because I really need to go and get the train but today's the day I'm so excited I'm off to London to go and get my extensions put back in I feel like I've been waiting for this day for forever I'm so excited so let's go and get it done. I am back from Vixen and Blush and I officially have hair. It is honestly so nice to have it back again. I just feel like a normal person, I swear to God. Literally, like, it's not until you have it put back in that you realize how much you have actually missed it. So, yeah, so the color is a really nice color. Like, I do love it. It's not exactly what I want we're still obviously getting it to the stage of what I want it to be like so I booked back to go back in another two months time to get it lightened up again but this is obviously as light as we could go currently and it is it is a really nice color like I am pleased with the result and Vixen Blush have just done an amazing job as always so yeah so I'm loving it I mean it is it is just brunette which obviously, you know, in my head, I'm envisaging myself being back, like, more blonde. So, but we'll get there. We will get there eventually. I'll be, eventually? Eventually, I'll be blonde for summer. That's what I'm thinking. So, yes. But it's just so nice to have, like, normal hair. And, like, look. I can do this, guys. Look. Look at this. I have, like, a normal parting. And I can put my hair up if I wanted to. Oh, my God. It's so amazing. Literally. Like, I just... I just have missed hair so much. I'm so, so excited to have it back. Hey guys, so it is the end of this vlog. I'm actually currently sitting here editing the vlog because uh, it's Sunday night and I need it to go up now. I was meant to finish this on Wednesday, um, but as always, I just get so busy and things get away from me. Um, so this will be going up the night that I'm actually filming this. Um, and yes, Friends is still on in the background. Oh, we're on to a new episode. God, what am I on now? Season... Six, episode 13, I have no life. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my weekly vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching and thank you for sticking with it to the end. If you did, I love you. And let me know in the comments below if you stuck through to the end. Because this was a long one. But I had a lot to do and I wanted to share some more personal things with you guys. But give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you want more like this. Um, but yes, I will see you all in my next YouTube video. Bye guys.